Hi, I'm attorney Tom Lamb in North Carolina. In this Asbestos News Minute, I want to tell you about a, a new mesothelioma case filed in Madison County, Illinois by Raymond Hostert, an Illinois man who was diagnosed with mesothelioma in June of 2008. Uh, Mr. Hostert uh, worked as a machine operator, a drill press operator, a truck driver, and a mechanic uh, from uh, 1952 to 1999 at various work sites uh, throughout uh, Illinois. Uh, during the course of his employment, uh, he worked with and around asbestos-containing products. He was also exposed to asbestos-containing products uh, during uh, various home repair and uh, auto repair jobs on his own time. The mesothelioma lawsuit filed on behalf of Mr. Hostert uh, names 79 uh, companies uh, as defendants. Amongst those companies, Bondex, CVS, Chrysler, Federal Mogul, Ford Motor Company, General Electric, General Motors, Goodyear, Honeywell International, Ingersoll Rand, International Paper, John Crane, MetLife, and Phillips Electronics. The lawsuit seeks damages both compensatory uh, and punitive. Compensatory damages are for things such as cost of medical treatment, loss of income, and loss of consortium uh, to his uh, surviving spouse. Punitive damages, on the other hand, are meant to punish a defendant for its wanton and reckless conduct. In this instance, that conduct is the fact that most, if not all, of these corporations knew that there were safer alternatives uh, to the asbestos-containing uh, products which they were selling and putting into the uh, uh, workplace and around uh, Mr. Hoster's uh, home and home repair jobs and automotive jobs. Uh, the fact that they uh, did not use these safer products and moreover the fact that they did not uh, properly warn about the dangers associated, asbestos, associated with asbestos is what gives rise uh, to the punitive damages aspect of the lawsuit. Again, this is a new mesothelioma asbestos case filed in Madison County, Illinois, early August 2008. We will monitor developments, report significant uh, developments here, uh, and for more about asbestos and legal uh, uh, compensation, we encourage you to visit our website, asbestoslegalwatch.com. Thank you, and have a good day.